to the boy who didn't text back for a week. The one who said, let's go somewhere on Saturday. We shouldn't talk anymore on Sunday, but come chill with me on Thursday. The one who can't make up his mind. To you, I am a queen. Royalty paints my skin, a nine ounce gold nugget pumps my blood. I am a goddess, an empress, ready to be waited on by pupils. I may not rule a country, but I rule Tima, and that's an edifice of human proportions, physically but colossal, call me Cleo. But don't be fooled, I will not be your mistress, your side dish, your booty call, your wham bam, thank you ma'am, I'm wife material. And if we're not there yet, I can also be a wifey, wife me. So you can finally become a part of the royal family. You claim it, but I didn't see you at the reunion. But I didn't hear you in Motherland's will. You claim this royalty that clogs my arteries. You stunting. Can't appreciate a queen set before you in all her glories. You stunting. Because if you're a real king, you know to hold on to your hot shepsuit, your Venus in human clothing, your American Cleopatra, but you don't. So you're not. You're an imposter. And to think I gave you time, hoping to change an untouchable to gold, clearly that's an upgrade too far outside your reach. I've never had to say this before, but then I met him. A mural of pure lust, a deadly sin, stroked into existence by Satan himself. <laughs> With skin running smooth, dark and sweet like maple syrup, he revealed himself. Pulled back his skin and ribcage to show his true colors, it was blinding. And while I found my way around the facade, he trampled my title and turned my castle to salt. But I led him. Forsaking my greatness for someone who was unworthy, someone who only called me when the owls came out, and when I was summoned by his highness, I obeyed, and with haste, I was my own traitor. But now, I'm reestablishing my kingdom, reasserting my status because it seems someone has forgotten I'm here. Naomi Campbell walking, Maya Angelou talking, Nina Simone, my mentor, and Michelle is my coach. They are queens, both breathing and sleeping. They rock the royal cloaks and furred crowns, ruling with their scepters, reigning with bullhorn voices, Aristocalia and Aspecia in their heads on their thrones. They are rulers of the mind. You didn't know? These are the ones who came before me, who built the aristocracy. I am a queen. Here is my crown and I'll have you beheaded before I let you disrespect it. When I leave the house, by simple habit, I change into a sterile green garment prepared to play cadaver. For the frauds on the streets, the everyday people playing pseudoscientists who sharpen their scalpels and tighten their goggles, ready for dissection. In public, I am an undiscovered species, a doctoral dissertation, an object subjected to quasi-experimental design, a sign that things should change not to randomization, but to the realization that civilization has ceased to be civil, that kindness excludes kin, the realization that like every star in the universe, we're all different. It's time to put away your microscope scopes of the imagination, blurry goggled accusations, because you cannot classify me not with some fancy dichotomous key made of the single word inscriptions that are blurted from your mouth, black booking a girl who's just a little bit different. See, these frauds like to believe that their birthplace has earned them a PhD in the human race. Frauds who claim to be scientists, who examine my smile, check. My skin, check. My hair, check. My clothes, check. Who I hang out with, check, 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 check. Have you checked me in chess, or are you too busy checking me out, undressing me with your eyes, check-checking my... Like, whoa there, are those like 
your thighs? I'm not classified by Twiggy. Might as well nickname me by Little Miss Piggy. Post my picture in Urban Dictionary. For this urban jungle, we like to classify by derogatives. Positives, negatives, the use is simple, cognitive. A need for a social representative, for an ugly, a druggy, a dropout, a failure. Words that all deny us of our humanity for the sake of anthropology. Scientists. Can I sit by you and call you pretty? Pretty cool, pretty awesome, pretty hot. What a pity that only pretty doesn't cut it, that it isn't the best, doesn't make you the least bit better. Your certification doesn't qualify as a reprieve, a patronizing trick up your sleeve. It's a trick that hardly makes me believe you're anything but a fraud. Or is the magic trick the way you magically make me disappear with my new definition, the dictionary? The fruit of my dichotomy, the one that lists my etymology as originating from the Latin family. Word turpus, ugly. You call me ugly, like it's all ever be, ever have been. Like the content of my skin is the content of my heart. Like flesh is mind and soul. Scientists, when you call me ugly, are you referring to my face, my race, the way I don't have a space between my legs that symbolizes skip meals and size zeros? An emptiness in the stomach that's usually reserved for those without a choice? Since when did my size determine the volume of my voice? Since when did ugly mean anything? I, scientists, before you judge me, upon a single glance, a single thought, a single word. I dare you to trail breadcrumbs down the hollows of my chest so you can find your way home after you find yourself lost in the thousands of forks in the road that constitute my character. You're no Robert Frost. You travel that same little road, travel by pretty little people, pretty little liars who claim to be scientists who examine your smile for the image of their own reflection that they are so convinced is the picture of perfection. But you are not simply scientists. You are worth so much more than that. Break free from pretty and join your Twiggy with my little Miss Piggy. Lego my ego, my eye and sense of self, and I can do the same for two. We can form a double helix and fix every protein that is out of place. Stop the mutation before the cancer. Save the human race. For the regeneration in the next generation, stop the words that end and take identity's place. We have all the answers. It's time we finally cure this cancer we like to call ugly. This is for 18, 21, jail crow, dead heartbeat. This is for days who have seen the sun fall from their eyelids. For crosses that only have meaning when laying between collarbones, for chains that hang and swing from necks joyfully. For boots who have seen a hard day's run. For black boys playing dead so no one will kill them. For shorty with the backside tattoo of Betty Boop, who only sees beauty in cartoons for being fresh, as pure as newborn, fresh like a baptism, for being fresh to death. Let it be a cliche if a cliche never dies. Cliches never die, so this is for everything expected of a black man who will run for Congress and win. This is for 18, heartbeat, Home wreck, train wreck, this is for everything expected of a white woman. She must be less than man. She must cook and clean and raise and raise her purse at the sight of sweatpants, no. She must button up a suit 
fit for company CEOs. This is for Jailbird. Work hard, man up, fear God, work harder. This is for everything expected of a Hispanic man. Told to construct foundation for a man who steps on his wages. Told to come home and starve while his young legacies feast on government assistance he watches. Trespassing his own thoughts, he cries, and the ink on his rough skin flesh runs. He dreams of owning every building on every block in the city. He wants more. This is for everything expected of us. We are being watched by gods and kings and king and ancestors who wish to walk on land occupied by integrated footprints. They have formed welcome committees for their fallen grands. We are expected to seek refuge in God's hands and dance. Whenever the sun would greet the moon's presence to make memories like black and white photographs, like block parties, expected to end with a kiss between fingertips, we need more. More in sync heartbeats, more handshakes coated with a lint of sweat pent pockets. We must cook like family dinners on Sunday evenings, pray over our tummies with the reminder of the morning sermon. We need more minority men to suit up like supermen, bring home feasts from their chest breed. Kings, we need kings who will enclose the sun beneath their eyelids. We need kings who search for beauty in shorties. We need queens who sit comfortable in thrones. We need pigments that wave hello to each other in crossing paths. We need, together we need, together we need, together. <laughs>